Now we're going to prepare the straps. So what, the drawstrings, sorry. And what I'm, they are cut to be, I'll fold them in half and I'm going, and they end up around one centimetre, one to 10 mil to 12 mil wide finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually halving it and then I'm going to crease it. And my way of creasing is without stretching, fold it in half and then just over the edge of the machine and it just makes stitching a little easier. I'm not stretching, I'm just holding it on this end there and pressing through the middle with my finger as it goes over the curve of the machine. A table will work. Table edge will do the same. That's that one. And here I've done most of it. What I have here is a roulette um, turner. You place it through your tube, take it through to the other end. Now some fabrics, as you've just seen, um, turn a lot, will turn, other fabrics will turn a lot easier, but this one, just a little more difficult. What you can use instead of, ha if, uh, if you haven't got one and then don't rush out and buy it, a safety pin will work just as well. So what do you do with the safety pin? You just pin it to one end and then just wiggle it all the way through? Yeah, pin, it, the pin, pin it to this edge here Yeah. and then turn it as it face down, front comes down and then you glide it through. Um, with um, satin and, and silk, this you wouldn't have this issue. It glides a lot easier than this. So the thicker the fabric, the harder it is. Yep, yeah. pretty well. Actually, you know what? I saw a pair of silk pants. Uh, made very similar cut to this one, probably a little bit more palazzo, and all it had was an elastic waistband. So I think making these in a nice silk would be a good idea. Mm. Oh, this pant is so uh, it's so versatile. You'd be able to make it out of a lot of fabrics.
Next we need to stitch in our ties. Just um, working out. I'm just going to take that off. And place the tie around the middle. Once I fold that in, it's around the middle of yeah. there. So I'm going to stitch it to the seam because I don't want it showing on the outside. Oh, firstly, Of course we need to go back to our flat foot. to actually stitch it just over the seam line. going to do the same with the other side. Straight across the, um, the seam line. Towards the fold line. Just going to trim away my excess fabric here. So the backing for the buttonholes? Yes. Yep. Your bobby pin go. I got it. It's the only one in the house. <laughs>
making sure I haven't twisted it, which I have. There. And here. 